travelling with kids, whether it's a weekend away or a long haul holiday, is uh, fraught with fun, but also challenges, particularly around meal times. That's why I'm delighted that this man started his company, Craftis. Uh, Michael, thank you so much for all of your work. Um, for anyone who hasn't got kids and doesn't understand maybe some of the challenges around lunchtime and dinner time, just tell me uh, about Craftis, what it does, and how it came about. Yeah, the business started 12 years ago. Um, it was born really by the fact of having two young kids ourselves. My wife and I started the business. Um, and in, in fairness to, to Suzanne, my wife, she's actually, uh, who's not actually here at the moment, but uh, she, she did a brilliant job. She started the business and, and now it's been going 12 years. Um, and we manufacture and import about 15 million kids products now a year. So it's kind of, it's grown from, from nothing 12 years ago to, to that now. So the main thrust of the business was the hospitality trade. Yeah. So we're supplying into restaurant chains, um, you know, nationals, independents, uh, et cetera. Um, UK wise, we've now got about 1200 customers. So, uh, yeah. so yeah. Um, and then we've been kind of contacted along the way by train companies. So we deal with Virgin Trains, et cetera. Yeah. Um, and, uh, and along from that, we decided to, to come along to the, to the show um, and tr give it give the kind of travel industry a bit of a go try and engage in some conversations with Absolutely. different types of of travel companies exactly. I'm I mean would you say that there's a slightly di slightly different product when you're looking at uh, short haul and long haul air travel or on cruise trains for example versus in restaurants and, and hospitality or is it pretty much the same the yeah. same problem you're solving at the end of the day well, actually I mean I think our USP here really is the fact of is the fact of our buying power and our production capacity okay. means that our our kind of the products that we can we can create basically are, are relatively inexpensive so yeah. and then they can be used on you know and they, and they actually because they're because they're light most, most of them are paper cardboard based um, and, and obviously with the coloring activities um, and therefore they're good to go on on board because they're compact um, and obviously you know eco-friendly because that's kind of a main thrust at the moment for a lot of the a lot of the airlines and the restaurant trade as well you know it's kind of the eco-friendly um, sustainability that kind of thing and speaking from experience, the presence of these products, uh, certainly in a restaurant, and I can see that happening in travel as well, uh, that there's a decision maker for us. It's like, oh, we'll go there because they've got great things that not only keeps the kids entertained and, uh, and occupied, but also that we as parents can uh, enjoy with them as well. It's, it's a great you know even a, a launch point for conversation at lunchtime yeah absolutely and I, and I think from the only thing that really differs I think from the restaurant side of things you know um, that there, there is a choice really because you can you can as you just mentioned there you know that we supply the likes of giraffe tea dry Fridays Jamie's Italian um, in the UK and you know there's a reason why those guys do it you know it's and it's basically bums on seats for as long as they can you know and extra drinks coffees beers that comes with that if the kids are happy slightly different on an airline I guess because you know you you, you you've got less selection I guess yeah. Um, but therefore, you know, there's still the, the need to keep the kids kind of occupied because they're on that plane for probably, you know, an hour, two hours or more. Absolutely. Uh, listen, Michael, fascinating stuff. Really, really pleased you're here. Hope the conversations are good and that you're, uh, that you're able to expand in the travel sector as well as in the hospitality sector. Thanks again, Michael. No problem at all. Thank you.